What's up, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and welcome back to some more Pico CTF 2017. This is level two in the binary exploitation category. Challenge is called Flag Say 1 for, I think, 75 points? Oh, no, 80 points. Nice. It says, I heard you like flags, so now you can make your own. Exhilarating. Use the binary given here and the source code and connecting with a netcat command for a host and a port. Uh, the hint here is system will run exactly what the program gives it. So with a little bit more context, I've already got all this stuff downloaded. I just, again, wget it into the current directory I'm in. And then we can go ahead and check out the source code for this binary, .c. So it defines a bunch of kind of set constants here, gives us a string, kind of ASCII art of, say, of a flag picture, and it says command base being a string with a bin, echo, and then a percent sign s. So as we saw in the previous video, and as we've just kind of come to learn within C and programming, is that this is a format specifier for the printf function. So it's going to expect another string to follow this, and that will place it inside these quotes here, double quotes you can see being escaped with a backslash, and then just an escaped new line character, backslash n. So it tries to place it in the flag with this place in flag function that doesn't look like it has anything too particularly vulnerable or odd. It will just add segments of text into the flag over and over and over again until it puts it in a new line, etc. The main function just receives your input with malloc, and it's using free, so it's kind of handling memory on its own. Um, maybe we could have something, if, maybe if there were a rabbit hole to go down that, just exploring uh, how it's handling the memory and working with these variables, but that's not the clear example and the, the clear-cut solution that we're looking for. The payload in the exploit here actually does not come from the binary itself, so you don't want to consider this too much of a pwn challenge or like a real binary exploitation challenge. It's really how it's handling the commands that it's running with system. This command base string doesn't seem to sanitize the input whatsoever. So maybe we could make it run other commands since it's simply running system with that command with SN. It's not using printf in this case, but it's using SN printf to actually put segments in there with the length of what we've seen with uh, what we enter as our input and the new flag that's going to work with. So that's enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and try this out. If I actually run the connect script, you can see that I will can just be type, be able to type anything, and it says, "Please subscribe, lol, Patreon, Discord, humble bundle, hashtag sellout." And it says, "Oh, cool. Please subscribe, lol, Patreon, Discord, humble bundle," and it's filled inside this flag. And it's doing this because it's just ran through the echo command, as we saw in the source code here. But what's to stop us from trying to break out of this this uh, quotes here, this string? Like if I said, John says, hello there. Let's see. You can notice that our double sign, or our double quotes here to denote a string aren't being processed because they're being considered as part of the command. So we could actually kind of start a new command because bash, just as we've done before, like if we wanted to try and do something else inside of one single line of while we're trying to connect to something or while we're trying to run commands the bash command line, you can separate them with a semicolon. So let's try anything to have some content in the string, and let's use our ending double quote to break out of the string, and now we've essentially ended that echo command, because we're replacing their ending string, ending quotation with ours, and we can just use a semicolon and say something new, like id, which maybe run the id command. We can try and uh, hit enter and get this to execute, and you can see we've successfully ran the id command. There's the output right there, and Bash is actually trying to interpret the rest of the flag. It's getting permission denied on trying to do some things. So if we wanted to, we could just actually comment it out with a hashtag there. And it took some time. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting different answers for... Oh, maybe it's trying to process something with the anything. So maybe just ending the, the string immediately with the quotes will work just fine for us. Anyway, let's start to try and poke around the file system here. We could just end the echo command again, start a new command, and try and run ls. And you can see, okay, this is the contents of the directory. It's as if we just ran ls on their server. You can see the flag.txt is right there. So let's try and, again, end our 
string and the echo command with the semicolon, start a new command, and just cat flag.text, and then comment that out. There it is. There is the flag. If we wanted to, we could write a get flag script for this um, in Python with pwn tools, or just keep track of this flag, go ahead and submit it. And of course, your flag will be different than mine because it's kind of Pico CTF programmatically generated ones, but that's it. That was that challenge. Not too hard, just kind of noticing that it's not the binary that we're exploiting right here. We're just taking advantage of the system command and how it's not properly being sanitized with our input. We can just kind of do some command injection to break out of their echo command and start to run our own. At the end of every video, I like to do a quick shout out to all the people that support me on Patreon. Um, I haven't actually said everyone's name in a long time, so I'm going to try and do it. I'm going to butcher everyone's name. Let's see how we do. Let's see. Spencer Clark, Gal Horowitz, Suzuki Attila, I'm so sorry, that's the one that always gets me. Orgoloth, the Unruly Destroy of Worlds, Bastion of Terror, Jan Grob, Timothy County, Jacob H., Raffle, but with a 1, R1FL, <laughs> Thomas Rogdakis, I always, I know I'm going to say like Rog, Rodgatis or something wrong, whatever. Uh, you're the best. <laughs> J.D. Tun, Maurice Kontorowicz, Ben, Squeeney, William Whitcomb, Justin Mann, Kimbo, Nullpixel, Rich Smith, Irix Sven, Irix Veen? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hasib Kureshi, I'm sorry. Eagles Moto, Sherboon Sim, Silox Dave West, Miguel Lajos Munoz, I don't know how to pronounce that one, I'm sorry. Midzig, Mig, Mig, Zig? Mig Zig, yep. Bachu, Bachu? <laughs> Christopher Skogan, Chris Daw, William Sklar, William Overton, Paul Ambruru, Kaboom, Arthur's, Arthur Zuck, Arthur Zook. This is, this is bad, man. I'm sorry, everyone. You're still my favorite. <laughs> Supercot, I'm going to assume I'm not actually saying the letter, the numbers in that. Uh, Troy Master and Richard Fernandez, Oscar, oh, this is a bad one. Sice Lewis, Sice Lewis, Sice Lewix. That accent is probably doing something crazy. I'm sorry I'm butchering everyone's name. Joss Vigrick, Jao Rodriguez, Trax, Tom Argaman, please sub, uh, Nabrook, and Lax Jekyll. <laughs> I'm just completely sorry. I literally butchered everyone's name in that. That was bad. But... Hey, $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout-out just like this, where you too have the opportunity for me to butcher your name and say it completely wrong. Um, so if you'd like that, hey, just $1 a month, special shout-out, some feel-good feels, it's it's nice. $5 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout-out. It will not give you... It, it will give you a special shout-out, but it will additionally <laughs> give you early access to all the, everything that I record and put on YouTube, or at least I'll try to. Because I like to record things in bulk and then gradually let YouTube release them on kind of like a scheduled, maybe a day-to-day -day or whatever timeline that just kind of spreads it out a little bit so one person that's subscribed doesn't have 20-plus notifications that have released a crap ton of videos all at once. So, whatever. If you don't want to wait, Google Access, it's a, a shared Google Drive folder and it's early access to some of the videos that I put together. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Join our Discord server, link in the description. This has become a very, very long outro, and I'm so sorry. I'm just going to leave right now. See ya.